everyone so in today's video i thought it'd be fun to go ahead and do a little get ready with me um i have shown my everyday makeup routine before but i just felt like making a video and i thought this sounded fun so that's what i'm going to be doing today for you guys some of these products might be similar to what i used in my last makeup video but i know there's some ones that i didn't show in that video so it will be a little different and just a fun way to you know chill chat sip on some boba had to get some for this video i was planning on doing a different hairstyle but ended up resorting to this just because i was getting sweaty and hot and frustrated so we just ended up doing this like low slick back ponytail so but if you are excited to watch this video please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video and let's get into it i gotta turn on the fan before i start this video because i'm already getting hot and it's just not gonna happen all right much better so for my first product that i'm going to be using i'm going to go in with the elf luminous putty primer looks like this there you go you can see it and this one like i said is their luminous glowy version of their poreless putty primer should probably zoom in at some point that way you guys can see more up close I'll do that now. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. There, that's pretty good. Okay, doke. All right, and then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this one right here. It's the Maybelline New York Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And then to blend that foundation, I'm gonna go in with this Camo Sponge from Elf. There. Before I go in with the foundation, I'm gonna wet it real quick should be good enough now we can go in with the foundation i'm not the best when it comes to picking foundation shades never have don't think i ever will be but i'm not going anywhere once this looks done so it doesn't really matter and now i'm gonna go ahead and blend it i do have a little mirror down here so i can see better i hope everyone is doing well i know right now things are very up in the air for some of you it may just be a matter of getting through the day and you don't really know what's happening i know i sure don't but I do really hope everyone's doing well during this time and hanging in there the best that they can. That is all we can really do during this time. How's that looking? Being on the opposite end of the whole YouTube video creation game is honestly interesting. I'm so used to being the one watching the videos, but to be the one making the videos is a completely different story. Let me tell you that. I hope I'm not too boring for you guys. Naturally, I'm pretty introverted, so I'm not the most talkative person, but that's totally fine. That's just how I am. And that's how a lot of people are, I'm sure. But I have my moments where, you know, I'm more outgoing and talkative. It's just a matter of being comfortable with the people that I'm surrounded by. As I'm sure is another common theme for those of you who are introverted as well. How I see myself in the camera viewfinder versus how I see myself in my mirror is so different. The viewfinder actually makes it easier to see because I'm more bright in whereas in my mirror it's kind of dark and hard to see if I'm even blending. That looks fine to me. All right, so now is concealer time. And a combo that I've really been enjoying are these two right here. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And then this one, this one right here. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from, oh my God, what's the brand? Maybelline. First, I'm gonna go in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer, and then I'll go in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. But I like the look of them layered together, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I already know I have a heavy hand. It's just how I am. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so it really doesn't matter. This is all just for fun. I'm gonna go in again with my Elf Camo Splint. All right, I'll try this again. I'm gonna go in again with my Elf Camo Sponge to blend out this concealer. 
And then after I'll go over this concealer with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I think I mentioned it before, but this concealer, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo one, I like because it blends out a lot easier than the original formula, so that's why I opt for this one over the original camo concealer from e.l.f. Both are good, but in terms of blending ability, the hydrating one is definitely better, at least for me, in my opinion. I feel like I do spend quite a bit blending. It's better to over blend than to under blend, I would say. My wrinkles on my forehead do not take long to settle in, so I just keep going back over those to make sure my foundation and concealer isn't settling into them. Next, like I mentioned, we're gonna go in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Oh, and I just realized I'm not mentioning any of the shades from the items. I'll just go ahead and mention what shades I use down below. That way you guys know what shades I went in with. Sorry about that, but I'll list that in the description box. Just so you guys know if you're interested. Do you guys like my shirt? It's a little baby angel. Cute. I got that from Urban Outfitters a little while ago. And then I have like a cropped white tank underneath just because it is see-through. So we're not trying to give anyone a free show, if you know what I mean. No, sorry, we aren't. All right, how does that look? Ooh, I probably can blend up here more. I did not see that. Does that look better, guys? Not that you're here to clarify for me, but that's okay. Let's go a break. Next, we're going to go in and set the foundation and concealer that we just applied, and then we'll go in with the rest of the product. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with this Essence Brighten Up Powder in the banana shade, and we're just going to use it on the under eyes just to brighten them up and set them as well. But first, before you set your under eyes, you just want to make sure you blend out any creasing that may have happened in between and then i'm going to use my camo sponge to apply the banana powder and just press it in pre-quarantine i loved doing my makeup and now i can't be bothered to do it i got more into skincare if anything during quarantine a lot of that can be attributed to skincare by hiram here on youtube Ever since I found his videos, I was immediately into skincare way more than I was before, which I think is good. I think our skin should come first and then makeup second. Your skin is going to be with you your entire life. You might as well start taking care of it as soon as possible. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use this bougie product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. You can see my camera there. I'm going to use this just over the rest of my face. I just use that other powder for under the eyes just so um, I'm brightening that under eye area and then I'm gonna use this brush from e.l.f. Oh, like I said blending out creasing before you go in their powder that way you're not setting creases and that should be good um next we are going to do eyes let's do eyes i'm gonna go in with this product that i've had for a while and i really like it's the nude medium palette from huda beauty here's what the shades look like very pretty i'm not the biggest eyeshadow gal but this product i do really like and first i'm gonna go in with what do i want to do i'm gonna go in with this shade right here this light pink one and i'm going to put that all over my crease and just work it in eyeshadow is not my forte but i still find it really fun to mess around with it and have fun only one way to get better at things and that's to practice right so that's all i can really do How's that look? I think it looks pretty. I've done a look like this a few times now with this eyeshadow palette. 
Now I'm gonna go in with a different color. I'm gonna go in with a darker color. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do this light brown one right here, that one, and kind of concentrate that in the crease as well. Now to the other eye. Good enough. And now I'm gonna put a shimmer all over the lid. And for that, one I really like and I think I'm gonna use again today. This one right here. And I'm just gonna use my finger for that. Ooh, that's pretty. Not bad. And this is what the eyes are looking like. Now, the next step, we'll go back in with this so later to do the under eye area right there, but we're gonna go into bronzer next. For that, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Bronzer. It is their Sun Bunny Bronzer. I like this one because it's duo-toned, so it has two different shades of bronzer. There you can see it. And I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This one is old and from Target to just swipe it all over the face. And I apologize if I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm very much wanting to look in the viewfinder just to make sure that everything looks okay, but we'll work on that. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this all over. I really like that look of just being bronzed and it not having like too harsh of contour lines. Yeah, that's how we're looking after the bronzer. I'll go in with like a powder brush at some point and make sure it's all blended. Um, but I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics brush and just kind of try to contour my nose and stuff a bit. And also with this whole contouring thing, not the best at it, but still gonna try to do it. Get under here, under the lip. Bravo. And then I'll just go ahead and go over that stuff just to make sure it's not too harsh. That was good just to go in and blend stuff out after that way you're not looking too rough and unblended. Another matcha bubble break. And next product is gonna be this Milk Makeup Cream Cheek and Blush Duo in the shade Perk. I'm gonna go in with my Tati Beauty sponge tool thing. That's what it looks like there, ladies and gentlemen. It took a minute for it to focus, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna swipe some onto the sponge and blend it all over the cheeks. This is a good product, I'll say. You can wash it and all that stuff and reuse it, which is nice. Excuse my creepy applying blush smile. How's that looking now, guys? Let me check. Ooh, okay. I almost didn't recognize myself because I never wear makeup anymore. Now that I went in with the cream blush, I'm gonna go in with a powder blush. And that one being this Milani blush. And it's in the shade Luminoso. Very pretty. And I'm gonna use this Morphe stippling brush. All right, so got the blush. What do I want to do next? Brows. We'll do brows. And I'm using this AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. Here's what it looks like. More of a thicker brow pencil. Brows are one of those things where I just try really hard not to go overboard because I've had my moments as I'm sure many of us have and I heard someone say once you almost had to be like scared of your brows and I'm like you're not wrong that's probably true that's a good way to go about it maybe whoa what did I do there maybe doing it like while looking in the viewfinder kind of hard and yeah. hard to do it like that I always get complimented on my brows when I go to get them threaded and that's always nice to hear. I don't find that I need to do much to my brows. I just like to fill in them a little bit just so they're not looking sparse or weird. I do have a little tool to help clean them up too, which you guys will see next. 
Not that it's necessary, but I would say having the ability to get my brows done without having to worry that you're going to, you know, catch that, that shall not be named. That's something I miss, but I can live without it to be honest. It's just a luxury. And to clean up the brows, I'm going to use this baby right here. It's the Essence Highlight Eyebrow Pencil, and this is really nice, cheap, helps clean up the brows. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my brows now. Might look like I'm a little sloppy with it, but you can blend it out afterwards, so it's not too big of a deal. And now we're going to blend out that. How's that looking? Yeah, I definitely botched my eyebrows a little bit trying to freaking tweeze on myself. <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know, guys. Um, it doesn't matter. We're not going anywhere. But now, let me go grab a brow gel to set my brows. This is gonna be the one I'm using. It's the Essence Brow Gel. And this is actually the third Essence product that I've used in this video, I noticed. And ain't nothing wrong with that. They're affordable, so a hey, you love to see it. And then next, I'll go in and finish off the eyeshadow by going on my lower lash line and what i'm gonna do is just combine these two colors that i used in the crease right there this brown and this pink shade and now we're getting towards the end here we're gonna do highlighter i'm gonna be using the benefit chic leaders bronze squad palette and then my Do Care highlighting brush that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna use the highlighter shade in this palette right there. And it's the cookie shade. This one is intense, as I've heard many other people say. They are right. She is intense for sure. Gotta blend that in, geez Louise. Looks like I just swiped glitter across my face. Let me just... Looks a little better. This looks a little weird right here, but in person it looks fine. Now that we highlighted those parts of the face, I'm gonna go in with this pencil brush. This pencil brush from BH Cosmetics and apply some to the inner corners of my eyes. <laughs> A little bit more to the tips of my tip of my nose. Blend it in. How are we looking? Not bad. And now for something that I got new. It's this lip liner and lip gloss set from e.l.f. Their Retro Paradise collection. And I think I'm going to use this shade right here. Haven't used that one yet. Really pretty. I do like it. And I'm going to line the lips. And then I'm gonna use the gloss from that lip kit as well in the middle right there. It's keeping the lip look pretty simple. And it's the Dream On Lip Gloss from the Retro Paradise collection. I like the smell. Cute. All right, now last step would be uh, mascara, but before I do that, I'm gonna spray my face and then go in with mascara. For the spray, it's gonna be the 3 in 1 Face Mist, the Jungle Rock collab, Jungle Rock collab with Brett and Rock, and Wet and Wild. <coughs> I'm fine. Literally smells like uh, coconuts. Coconuts. I'm Australian. No, I'm not because my impersonation or my accent is terrible. Coconut. One more. A girl needs her eyelash curler. The eyelash curler from the brand Kala that I got at Marshalls a little while ago, pre-quarantine. Okay, and now I'm gonna curl my lashes to be followed by mascara. I told you that you would work more than what 
all right now that this look is coming to the final leg the last step is going to be applying mascara and that's the benefit roller lash mascara not a bad mascara not my favorite but we're just using it today because i have several and this is the one that i felt like using and she will do that is one eye wow that looks really good all right guys that is the finished look i really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this makeup look that i created but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe while you're here and also give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it and feel free to leave a comment down below so i can reply to you and say hi and i hope you have a great day night wherever you are and i will see you guys next time bye Thank